we wouldn't be able to to go through all the instruments that are on that floor. Um, but I, I'd say there's definitely a few that have a starring role in this project. Um, my minstrel banjo being one of those. When I picked that instrument up, that's when I really started to write songs that were sort of representing me as, a, as an artist. The rattles at the cages that hold my heart and mind. I feel like I've been accumulating strange instruments over a lifetime. And then all of a sudden it's like started working with your and was like, hang on a sec, now I know why I bought that instrument or why I know now I know why I was practicing that thing. It's been pretty great to work with Francesco. I mean, we pretty immediately figured out that we had a great musical connection. Both of us are trained musicians who have also gone deep into folk traditions of our backgrounds, you know. They've all kind of come to play in this recording. The yeah, one thing that struck me, you know, when we started playing together is that, you know, it felt so natural, even though on the paper, things didn't look right. They were doing a spiritual with minister banjo and North African frame drum. It's like, that sounds weird on the paper, but only if you actually think about it. When you just listen to it, it sounds like they were meant to be together, except it hasn't been done really. The goal for us was to find that connecting thread, to hear that through line to the music out of the Middle East and out of Sicily that excites her and that Francesco is so deeply invested in, and early folk forms and country blues music that she's been playing, you know, not just with the Chocolate Drops, but since. And um, kind of wild to sit together and realize how varied this palette was and yet how connected it all was. It all worked. <laughs> Using a lot of multiple mics, multiple room mics, multiple close mics, I picked things that were w would be uh, applicable with lots of different kinds of instruments that didn't require a lot of fussing. So that if one mic's not quite getting it, the other mic is, and so there, I don't have to go in and uh, stop anything. For me, it's, it's interesting to imagine people listening to this and they go, "Oh yeah, this is a really cool sound," you know? Yeah, great. I was like, Hang on a sec, what the hell was that? Mm -hmm. 